Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, on today's video we have a vegetarian recipe and this one is very good. So uh, it's made with lentils and this is a great source of uh, protein as a vegetarian recipe and also it's very good for kids because it has vegetables in there and it's a great way to get kids to eat vegetables or if you don't like vegetables, it's a great way to eat vegetables because you cannot even um, taste them in there you cannot tell that it's lentils and you cannot tell that it's vegetables it just tastes amazing so it is super easy to make very simple um and let's show you guys how to make it so this looks like a lot of ingredients but it's actually very easy to make so here we have a uh, half a cup of red lentils that we've soaked at least half an hour uh, one medium onion finely chopped one medium carrot grated one medium courgette grated one medium potato grated Four cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of almond powder. You can use whole nuts if you want, whole almonds, walnuts. You can use uh, whichever ones you want because eventually we're going to blend everything. A uh, bundle of parsley, uh, about two tablespoons of olive oil. For the spices, we have salt and pepper. Um, and then for the. And here we have a teaspoon coriander powder, a teaspoon garam masala teaspoon cumin powder, um, chili powder, as much as you want, depending on your taste, and quarter teaspoon of turmeric. So we're going to prepare our mixture first because we need it to cool down. And here we've heated our pan on medium heat. Now we're going to add the olive oil. Now we add in the onions and we're go with the onion and we're going to saute that until transparent. So the onion is nice and transparent. Now we're going to add in the other ingredients. So uh, the carrots, courgette, and the potato. And we're just going to saute these uh, until they wilt. We're not going to add anything else because we're going to put all the seasoning in with the lentils. So we've been sauteing this for about like five minutes and as you can see they've wilted so now we're going to transfer them to a bowl and this is a great recipe for uh, kids that are picky eaters or just in order to get your kids to eat more vegetables or just even for yourself it's a great way because you're not even going to notice the vegetables or even taste them in this recipe So uh, we've, uh, we've uh, transferred the mixture to the bowl and now we're just going to let it cool down uh, while we move on to the, um, the lentils. While our uh, vegetable mixture cools down, in a food processor we're going to add in the lentils. Now we're going to pulse it once or twice because we're going to blend everything at a later step. So as you can see, it's not fully blended, but uh, we're going to blend everything later on so that all the ingredients incorporate with each other. Now we're going to add in the parsley, as well as the garlic, and we're going to blend that. So now that everything has started to incorporate with each other, now we're going to add in the almond powder. And now we start adding in the spices, so salt, black pepper, coriander powder, about a teaspoon, a teaspoon of garam masala, cumin uh, powder, and a little bit of turmeric just a little bit 
and lastly chili powder and this is up to you as much or as little as you want so uh, since I like it spicy I'm gonna add a lot but for those in Morocco instead of chili powder you can use the Sudanese now we're just going to gently mix it in with a spoon and then we're going to blend everything so we blended it until we got a paste like consistency now we're going to transfer it to a mixing bowl so to the lentil uh, mixture uh, now we add in the cooled uh, vegetable mixture now we mix everything together until um, it all incorporates with each other so we have our oil heating up uh, because we're going to pan fry these and you have two methods of shaping them so we're just gonna grab a little bit of water we're just gonna put it onto our palms you're gonna grab a decent amount and you can shape them however you want so you can shape them like this or if you want you can shape them in the form of patties and now we're going to continue with the same method uh, however you want uh, until we run out of mixture and then we're gonna pan fry them so our oil has um, has heated up we've uh, just put a very small piece of uh, batter just so uh, or mixture just to test it and now we're going to gently drop our um, mixture down so we're going to continue pan frying them uh, it's better to do it in batches if you don't have enough space in your pan so I'm just going to continue pan frying them um, and don't flip them too much just wait until they get golden brown from one side and then you can flip them because they're very soft and they're very fragile so you can only uh, flip them once they get nice and golden brown from um, one side so uh, we're just going to continue like this uh, because and be careful do not flip them like just flip them gently and be gentle with them because they're very fragile and they could easily break apart so this is what they look like now that we um fried them we just uh we just let them soak uh the excess oil in some tissue paper and this is what they look like alongside that we're serving it with a dipping sauce and this is just mayonnaise ketchup and some hot sauce so it looks really nice and crispy and golden brown um and uh yeah i can't wait to try it so uh, i'm gonna try one of these it looks Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, I'm just gonna try it alone first. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to try it with the sauce. Mm. Um, they taste um really good. <laughs> and uh, honestly, you can't even like taste the vegetables in there. And it just, it's so... Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? So I actually stole one from the kitchen. And it tasted very, very good. Mm -hmm. So I recommend it for all people to try for the kids. You heard him. He's a very picky eater. He doesn't really like these kind of things usually. But he likes it. So I'm assuming that that is actually like, that just validates that it actually tastes good. And it really does. You cannot taste that it's lentils you cannot taste that it's vegetables you really cannot taste anything they just taste really nice nice nuggets kind of they taste so good and um i highly recommend trying them because they were super easy and super fun to make so this brings us to the end of today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you like this kind of content please continue to support me and you can do so by subscribing, hitting the notification button, um, and follow me on my social media. So, of course, aside from YouTube, I'm available on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!